Yes, the question was that the, um, she's writing a YA novel that contains instances of sexual violence, which nobody protests, and instances of, what was the other thing that nobody protests? Um, in, in violence, violence. Yeah, violence. Um, regular, non-sexual, not regular, but other non-sexual violence. <laughs> regular old violence. Um, but, but that when she talks about a girl discussing what she likes and doesn't like in sex and not wanting to have intercourse because it gives her UTIs, people say that's over the line. And so how do you address that? You know, one of the things that I talk, and I mean, I think this is a cultural issue in our country that um, I talk about how the Dutch, uh, the differences between Dutch and Americans in their um, perspective on kids and sex. And there was research that looked at Dutch girls, Dutch college students and American college students talking about their early experiences. And in every instance, whether it's fewer negative things like pregnancy, disease, regret, drunkenness, and ev or more positive things like knowing your partner, enjoying the experience, being able to communicate. Dutch girls do better, and they say it's that parents, teachers, and doctors talk to, their, to those kids from an early age, very frankly, and parents in particular, while they're not less comfortable, or more comfortable than American parents, American parents, and this, is our, this is gets back to your question, our orientation is we talk exclusively about risk and danger when we talk about sex, and Dutch parents talk about balancing responsibility and joy. And that's what you're talking about. And I do think there are examples of that in YA literature. For instance, I mean, this is going way back, but forever, right? You, if you read forever, so I, if I were you, I would, for people who are saying that's over the line, or if you're trying to pitch your book, I mean, I can't, I don't know publish, I don't know YA publishing at all, but I would say, like forever, my book, um, allows a girl to have sexual agency and sexual discovery in a positive, responsible way. That's what I would say.